Greetings, free thinkers. Welcome to the podcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am, although I'm a bit peed off, because every day I have to see videos like this and I have to show them to you because you need to understand that the West and especially America, and by the way, I love America, you know that, is sinking further and further into tyranny, left wing tyranny. Now, what do I mean by that? This man here. Anton Van Happen, who is a business owner, the New Jersey business owner. I'm sure you can remember who he is. Well, he's being targeted again. This is all the more infuriating because he's abiding by the rules that these Arona enforcers set, but they keep changing their own rules in an arbitrary way, don't notify anyone, and then they come to these very same small business owners and they say you're in breach of this, that and the other when they're trying to abide by all these rules that you just keep making up as you go along. So we've got these videos to watch. I'm going to show you this and then I'm going to make some valid points at the end. I think that need making. So without further ado, we will get into this video. But if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and share this video around. Retweet it, share it to social media. Only takes a second to do all those things. And that is the foundation stone of helping us independent content creators battle against the algorithm that favours the likes of CNN and MSNBC who support the likes of these enforcers. We support the small business owners, they support the enforcers. Think about that. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so we've got two clips to watch, two separate um, visits to his establishment. Here's the first one. Friday night, you guys came. I put my tables inside. I'm inside with everything that you guys are told, are told me to. Uh-huh. And yet, you guys didn't even issue me a warning, and, and, and you're trying to shut me out. Like, right. when I'm complying with you. So, the restaurant is shut down. Okay. So, restaurant's not shut down. I'm not shutting this restaurant down. Okay, that's why we're here. Good. Okay. Are you sure you want to continue with the 100%. Okay, so um, we have a closure temporary suspension of the permit here. Okay, we're not supposed to be open. We're suspended on Friday. The order was issued by Public Health that says that we need to close until we can get reopened. Okay, what? So why? You, the reason you guys are closing is me is because on Friday evenings, as a protest, which I'm allowed to do, I put tables outside. Okay. I sold all my food to go. I didn't. So as he's saying, he's jumped through all the hoops they've asked people, small businesses to jump through, it's still not good enough. And I wanted to, as soon as this video started, I wanted to jump in, but I thought, you know, you guys obviously want to watch this. You'd probably be annoyed if five seconds into it, I opened my mouth. But the reason why I wanted to open my mouth immediately is because as this guy who started a business from nothing, got his premises, employed people, those people through being employed by him can feed their families and have a nice Christmas and a nice holiday and a nice new year. All of that stuff is alien to this man here. That's his assistant, but I, I believe that's his assistant. But this man here, he's got a purse. Bear in mind, he's meant to be a man, quote unquote man. He's got a purse and he's got a top knot. Overweight, effeminate man. The struggles small business owners are going through and how hard it is to run a business is alien to him. All he knows is he's got a guaranteed check. He's going to have a good Christmas and it's his job to shut people down who are by this the, the business owner's own admission that he's doing everything they ask. To sit outside on my tables again as a protest, which I'm allowed to do. Okay. Now, you guys came Friday evening, and there are two guys over here Friday evening basically said, listen, if you put your tables and chairs inside right now, you're in compliance. I said, okay, if I'm in compliance, why would you shut me down then? And they said, because it's already gone through your guys' system, and now I have to wait for you guys to come back before I, before I open it. And as you can see, there's a customer in the background there. See, people just want to get on with their lives. People just want to. They want to, to live. But if I'm already complying with when I have the tables and chairs inside, you want me to force you to shut down my business? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm saying is, if you're going to do that, you need to shut down my business. Okay. 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 Okay.
I have rent to pay. I have bills to pay. And look, you, like, this is a power trip. This is not even about COVID anymore. I've complied with you guys. Yes, sir, it is about a power trip. That's exactly what this effeminate, purse-wearing, top-knot, um, styled uh, man is doing. It's about having the power to shut someone down. The United States, I never thought it would happen, but the United States, I thought the United States was going to be the last bastion against this radical leftist movement that is infiltrated, the identity politics that has infiltrated everything. You're not... The days when you were allowed to question things are over. You know, if the powers that be and the people and these enforcers and the people who push all of this progressivism onto people, if you were so self-assured and confident in your own opinions and what you say is right, why are you so hypersensitive and so concerned about people speaking out against it? <laughs> I have it all reported. I have everything reported. No, because I'm reporting everything so that when I do not have to show up to court with you guys, when we start this class action lawsuit with all these restaurants against the health department, we have all proof right here on film about what everything said. Because listen, I have a recording. I have a recording this. So that's the first half. Um, she says, I would like to see that recording. What right do you have to see it? What? Who gives you the right to, to say, well, I would like to see that recording? He's recording it now. So here's the second part. What about my employees? You're not following the rules. I am following the rules. Like he is following the rules. He's run, jumping through all the hoops you set, but it's never enough for you. Now, look, we've got a front eye, we've got a front eye view of the effeminate man. Look, he's even got an effeminate face. Look at him. This is his power trip. The tables are inside. Just because the health department has the whole process to go through that takes however long that takes, I have to close my business for that time? Who's Are you going to pay my rent? Are you going to pay my rent? You chose to make those decisions. I chose to protest by putting my tables outside and I... He chose to make those decisions. What, to keep his business open? To pay his employees so they could have some money? It's two weeks to December, uh, Christmas, sorry. Two weeks to Christmas. Yet these two here are like emotionless drones. There's no emotion in their voice. There's nothing. It's just they're, they're, they're not alive inside. Are you hearing again? I never served one single person outside. I did all take out food and delivery to what exactly I was supposed to be doing. That's exactly what I did. I did not break any, and there is no law, I did not break any rule. There, there is a law that you're breaking right now by operating without a permit. I, because you guys put this closure on the restaurant. Right. You, so you, you guys yourselves are creating your own rule. And you're getting my citation for your own rule that's created. It's not by law that you cannot sit outside and eat. That's not law. That's what the order that was given. At the end of the day, he's doing nothing wrong. New York, take New York for example. You know they emptied out all the prisons and it was uh, um, seen as some sort of huge, amazing act to let people out on the streets who then go on to commit some very serious crimes. These two people don't chase them. It seems to me if you do the usual stuff that we've seen from the likes of them and Antifa, the looting, the rioting, and all that stuff, you're fine. You are fine. And the thing is, these two numpties here, they are underestimating and insulting the intelligence of the average person. So you cannot give me a closure citation based on that. It's already been ordered. I'm not issuing a closure. I'm saying you, are you, what are you not issuing a closure? You guys close me. You're not asking to close me. I'm not issuing the citation. The, the closure. The, the restaurant is already closed. The permit has been suspended. However, your refusal to close warrants a Because what am I going to do with my clothes? Are you going to pay my rent? No. No. All we need okay. To well, if you're not going to pay my rent, I'm not closing. We need to reopen. Because you're not going to pay my I told you already. We could have reopened today. We could be open right now. No, you're issuing a citation to tell me I can open. Yeah, 
book, we've, we've missed those steps. The steps that you need to take to make sure that you can open your business. You couldn't have done that on the internet. You could have. He's not going to be able to open his business. You don't understand. You're not a business. You've never owned a business. This, I'm talking to these two here. They don't get it. They think you can just stay shut down for 12 months. If you've got a restaurant with 40 employees, they think you can... Bear in mind, restaurants have... If a restaurant has a 10% profit margin, that's a good profit for a restaurant. If you, they think you can just stay down, shut down for 12 months, 18 months, open, close, open, close, shut down, spend all this money on building outdoor dining, then being told you're not allowed to have outdoor dining, all of this stuff, they don't get it. They don't get this human cost to all of this. Have we opened How? already? How? The steps are listed in the report that was Which I did. I called the guy. The guy, I spoke to on the phone with a supervisor because he made a mistake. That was on me. He made a mistake. It's recorded on my phone what he said. Don't you know, my friend, that left-wing people never make mistakes. These um, Rona enforcers never make mistakes. People in government never make mistakes. It's not always your fault. It's never their fault. Even if they do something wrong, it will always be you that has to pay the price. Never them. They're having. They're going to have a good Christmas. They're getting paychecks. They're paid from the taxpayer to destroy the taxpayer. They're going to be in Turkey and, and all the trimmings on Christmas. You're going to be feeding your family grass. Yeah, yes, he did. He told me I put it in writing to him on an email that I will follow the rules and I will not put my tables for outside down. And that's the end of the clip. Um, there is another one, but it's just more of the same. Him trying to protest his point. These two are unemotional rocks who don't care about anyone but themselves. They're just thinking about getting home for Christmas to have a huge spread, a food spread, where they will eat with their family. They'll have multiple families around for Christmas. This is these two here, these Rona enforcers. Like the politicians, they will have multiple families. Everything will be fine. Whereas this business owner will be ruined. Like there are countless other people who will be ruined. They're, they already have been ruined. There's a human cost to your authoritarianism. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching this, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video around. There's a subscribe button down there, share button. Only takes a few moments and it really helps. That'll be you doing your part to get our message out there and to show people that there is another way. There is another opinion. You are allowed to think it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.